How's it going guys? Today we're gonna do some espresso testing. So espresso tests lie in here in the Android pyramid if you follow the Google principles. But you could uh, end up uh, with just espresso tests uh, itself without the any unit tests, any integration tests, because they are very standalone and can cover the whole app. They are not gonna be the unit test, so debugging would be harder than with the unit test because uh, espresso tests are covering the whole uh, app and uh, basically it's uh, several classes involved so you have to dig deeper to debug the problem but it's way more natural than unit testing and you don't need to bang your head against the wall figuring out the, all the Makita stuff the dependency injections dagger all those libraries and uh, architecture solutions like MVP all the stuff you just write your your app the same way as you did before it doesn't matter if it's clean or not if it's a great approach or it's ugly just write it the same way don't think about testing at all and just after it's done you can write espresso tests or you could write special tests uh, during development they are pretty slow though so it's not like test driven development but uh, the good thing about espresso tests is that they are very like comment from the user perspective okay so setup is uh, already there if you created a new project from Android, the latest Android studio everything is there the only thing that I added in this project is uh, this library it's uh, used for interacting with the support uh, libraries like recycler view which I'm using here and let me show you the Android test that I wrote today if you follow my previous posts I've already tested the chat contract, it's uh, the whole thing here, view and presenter, and basically I already know that uh, all those methods are implemented the correct way, more or less. Probably there are some bugs still here, but it's just a like a chat activity, but it's just like uh, one side, so it doesn't do any networking. It just sends the messages from me to this list and no incoming messages. And everything is tested besides the recycler view part uh, for displaying messages. So I already know that uh, when uh, s typed a message and clicked same button, there is a method on presenter which adds uh, messages to the list and notifies recycler view adapter. The only thing remaining is just to test if my recycler view adapter is implemented the correct way and it's uh, set up the right way. As and here's my adapter. It's um, already written, not uh, much to discuss here, just a recycler view adapter. Let's run this test. Wow, it is glitchy, but the test passed and uh, Let's just uh, discuss in more details what's going on here. All the espresso tests you need to annotate with the uh, run with Android Jade Unit 4 and large test as well. And then uh, basically it looks similar to Roboelectric where we instantiated our activity. But here you create a, an activity test rule of your activity, which is the activity that you want to start with in this uh, test you still can go to the next activity or start another activities in this test uh, and what I'm doing here is uh, using view interactions from Espresso library finding views with the ID and then typing text here closing keyboard sending the message and this is the point where I needed the this uh, library Espresso contrib which is used for to scroll there is the method scroll to on recycler view at first to navigate to that uh, list item and then to verify that uh, that list item of this uh, text message is displayed and I'm I've just copied a measure from uh, Google documentation of from this tutorial great stuff it's used for finding uh, list items in recycler view so just confirm that uh, this list item is displayed in the recycler view that's it it's not a unit test, basically there is so many uh, moving parts involved in this uh, test, but since I've already written plenty of uh, unit tests, I just know that the only thing remained here is uh, 
recycle every adapter setup. Okay, I'm not gonna go into the advanced espresso stuff today, but what's uh, what I really wanna talk is uh, disabling and enabling uh, system animations in Android because you do need to, to disable animations uh, for your test to be reliable and uh, many tests will even throw an exception if you don't disable your animations on your phone. You could do that in settings. Under drawing category, there is those three fields: window animation scale, transition animation scale, animation uh, animator duration scale. Dis uh, disable both of all those three, and then you can run your test. But but it's so tedious, and uh, Google does not explain the automated way in the tutorials yet. They probably working on some uh, automated stuff here, but it's not live yet. So there are plenty pretty ugly solutions for automating that. But uh, here's what I've uh, I've came up today using several of the solutions live there. So let me show you what's I think what's coming is this uh, Cradle animation disabled flag for test options, but it doesn't work yet. So it's probably coming in the future. But that's why there is no documentation from Google Docs yet. Basically, there is two ways to disable animations on your device. It's via ADB or from the app itself. So to disable them via ADB, you need to run those three commands and basically uh, do it uh, each time before and after testing, which is uh, kind of tedious again. It's manual and I don't want that. So there is a, a library which uh, wraps those commands and you could run them with just one task. So I've added uh, this library in my project just to show you how it would uh, work. It adds a few tasks here. The one uh, I need is enable system animations and disable them. So let's see. So you could just run them from here, disable actually them. Okay, double check these settings and they are disabled. So let's uh, bring them back to enabled. Okay, so you see the manual work is possible via just one task, but still it's manual. Since our tests are automated, it just uh, doesn't make any sense to include any manual work in it. So you could automate this running this task as well when before and after you run this task, connect Android test, which runs all the Android tests. But this task is not its not the only way to run your espresso test. For example, if you run your espresso test from here or from here or by clicking this button, this task is not getting called, meaning that your animation is not gonna be disabled. So I cannot rely on that. Now let's see what other option do you have, which is to disable animations from your Android application. Now to do that, you need a permission, which is this one, set animation scale. And since we it's used only for testing and it's not a user related permission, we don't even need to include it in our production APK, which is why I've created a debug Android manifest and just put it, this permission here. And if you don't know uh, anything about how Android Manifest Merging works, check a few posts. I'm gonna link them in the description. As you see, I don't even include the full any text here, like application activities in the debug manifest. It's everything is merged automatically using this manifest and the default one, which is this one. So it's in the debug version here the permission is going to be added on top here and in the release one there there isn't going to be any and now we can actually figure out how to enable disable our animations from the application so again i went through many solutions on github and gists most of them are pretty ugly and they don't work but this one actually did and I'm using this library. So you just need, 
So you just include this uh, repository as dependency then and then add this library again as Android test implementation and in the test itself you just add this uh, field annotated with class rule and that's it your animations are gonna be disabled for testing enabled afterwards and nothing extra stuff is needed and it worked perfectly on my phone let's check if it works on the emulator oh yeah you could test it just by adding a progress bar in the middle of screen and uh, you will see it's not gonna be animated or I'm using the accelerator method from LinkedIn library just to do that work for me and it's gonna verify if system anim animations are disabled here it is my test didn't crash which it would if uh, the if this library didn't work correctly with uh, this assertion so let's exclude this test rule and check if uh, test is gonna pass now all right here you see the assertion failed error on uh, this line which means that our animations were weren't actually disabled because I've commented out this test so that means that the device animation test rule works correctly and yeah our animations are indeed disabled for testing and uh, again you could test it with the progress bar by adding a progress bar and uh, even for debug builds your animations are gonna be enabled they they are disabled only for testing and uh, yeah right this this post was mostly ac actually about how to disable animations but it's such a big part that I wanted to, to include it because there aren't m many clean solutions out there and you can't so find them so easily so it took me a while to f just to figure out the the best way to automate that for example there's a library from LinkedIn which I've used in here it's called this butler which the where is it which kind of yeah here it is which uh, which kind of like uh, does does this automate and disable disa here here it says disables animations automatically for yourself everything is super simple but then they say like it works only on emulators and like what's the point if it doesn't even work on your device so I mean I'm using my device for testing so how could I use this library only so yeah that's why I think uh, that uh, using manifest merger with permission and uh, this library is uh, quite a nice solution so that's it and in the next post we're gonna do some advanced espresso stuff like idle resources all that uh, difficult hard work for networking and all the different stuff so you can get the source codes in the github link is gonna be in the description and uh, subscribe talk to you later